सो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू योर पीडिया एजुकेशन सो एज वी नो भारत इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लिमिटेड ऑलरेडी अनाउंस द इंटरव्यू शेड्यूल एंड दे हैव स्टार्टेड कॉलिंग द स्टूडेंट सो टुडे आई एम मेकिंग वन ब्रीफ वीडियो वेयर आई विल नॉट स्कैटर द लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स बट आई विल ट्राई टू कीप इट वेरी सिंपल सी इफ यू पीपल बिलीव यू आर वेरी गुड इन बेसिकली डिवाइस सर्कट एनालिसिस एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन सो देर आर थ्री टू फोर सब्जेक्ट यू नीड टू फोकस स्पेसिफिकली वन इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिवाइसिस एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स बेसिक्स ऑफ सर्कट एंड डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वॉट फोकस यू नीड टू कीप एंड हाउ द क्वेश्चन इज बींग आस्कड यू कैन सी बिहाइंड मी आई हैव रिटर्न बेसिक ऑफ सर्कट बेसिक ऑफ डिवाइस डिवाइस एंड सर्कट एप्लीकेशन See when you start your engineering in very first or second semester you have one subject circuit analysis network theory or basics of circuit so there you study a lot of stuffs but in practical world or practical application there are only four things which are required you must be well proficient with a voltage source idle voltage source or practical voltage source current source idle voltage source practical current source dependent sources and how to design the dependent sources using the you know bjt mosfet operational amplifier very important question and fourth one is rc circuit capacitor is a very you know immensely used or very popular device in the practical world application of the electronics so you might have studied capacitor transient inductor transient leave out the inductor you don't need to focus that much on that but rc circuit how the charging and discharging of rc circuit happen what is the time constant and they may ask you to draw the waveform of voltage and current for the different rc circuit with different combination of capacitor and resistor and with different source of excitation be it in term of the that bit in term of the ram bit in term of the impulse there are some property of the capacitor capacitor does not allow sudden change of the voltage and you know if capacitor does not allow sudden change of voltage you must understand its practical significance does it allow the sudden change of charge no it may allow sudden change of current so under what condition it allow the sudden change of voltage sudden change of charge there are some specific condition so that is the impulse excitation right that all you might have studied in the lower classes he try to you know bluff you people or stuck you people around that concept so if you know how to apply kcl cable in the circuit what are the meaning of these then i am sure you will be in position to draw the waveform of any circuit many time what i have seen student knows how to draw the waveform of the basically you know voltage and current let us suppose your circuit is containing two component one resistor one capacitor they know the voltage across the capacitor they know but when somebody asked them to draw the voltage across the resistor they got stuck are come on yaar apply the kvl na at any time some of the voltage across the capacitor and inductor in the series circuit must be equal to the applied source so if you know across one element you can apply the kvl to calculate across the other element in case you are stuck other way there are so many ways this is just basic very fundamental thing i'm talking about right and second important thing is resonance see resonance plays very important role in today's time of the ic designing or circuit designing so series resonance parallel resonance what does it practically mean and what are the various uh, you know important parameter or aspect associated with the resonance occurrence in the circuit and how basically you can take the advantage and how you can utilize the resonant rlc circuit series parallel into any particular required application that is the second domain you need to cover from the basic circuit point of view don't go in detail apart from these two topic more than enough now coming to you know basic of device when we talk about the basic of device we talk about the junction formation that is the pn junction then we talk about the two junction formation pn pnp that is the basically bjt then we talk about the mosfet right so basically how internally how device is behaving if you have a p type semiconductor n type semiconductor you are providing external biasing how the charge particle mechanism is happening how that diode current equation is resulted what is electrostatic physics behind that why the electric field is maximum at the junction how to calculate the space charge density what is the significance of the depletion layer how depletion layer vary does the depletion layer physically is a physical concept or is it a virtual concept so these all things you need to understand from the practical point of view not from the formula point of view and there are different kind of the junction so what is the basically you know point of categorizing linear graded abrupt junction step graded what application do they find and why they are important and built in field concept built in potential concept how this arise what is the difference between built in field what is thermal equilibrium what is steady state what is quasi equilibrium they ask you these kind of question from the device physics right so they may do one thing they they may give you one semiconductor and they may ask you okay i'm shining and putting the light on the semiconductor at this point x is equal to 0 and l is the length of the specimen 
and at t is equal to 0 I am following the light so can you tell me how the concentration of the charged particle in the semiconductor will change with the time so on x axis take the time and on the y axis take the charged particle concentration and see what is happening is it a low level injection high level injection and what phenomenon is happening here so these all point you need to cover from the device physics point of view what basically is happening inside the device and that happening gives us that equivalent current equation of the diode i is equal to i naught into e v upon eta v t minus 1 and there are so many other kind of the you know basic the current equation in case of the transistor also in case of the mosfet how they are happening is it clear so that you need to cover in the device physics and trust me voltage and current characteristics of the all semiconductor devices you take tunnel diode its voltage current application you take zener diode its voltage current application you take photodiode its voltage current application you take led its voltage current application second what kind of material is used for the manufacturing third point what is the significance of that any cutting point any threshold point on the voltage current characteristics how we can control it how we can minimize how we can maximize it and what application these devices hold in the different region of the operation so that you need to focus keep your preparation focus in this direction only don't stray away don't scatter a lot away from here okay once you have studied these all then what are the application of this device i may have bjt i may have mosfet i may have the operational amplifier how you can use any of these for the waveform generator different kind of the waveform generator scare wave generator triangular wave generator right so that you need to study in the last case and how it can be used as an oscillator sinusoidal oscillator non sinusoidal oscillator and how bjt mosfet op amp can be used as an amplifier and how it can be used in the digital application so these three charts basic of circuit basic of device and device application and circuit they entirely cover your all the hardware section or circuit part of the electronics if you believe you have a well proficiency you have a very excellent knowledge of these three to four subject then start preparing these topic in this sequence basic circuit basic of device and how those devices you can use to make the application so keep your mindset while preparing your interview in this direction and then start reading the things see i keep on telling always when you're preparing for the interview your mindset is very important in with what mindset you are preparing when you are preparing for the exam your purpose might be solving the question only nobody is asking you how you solved it nobody is asking what are the application of the result just answer matter but for the interview why you are reading that concept and what abstract information you want to get from that topic or that uh, subject that is very very important so it means your mindset is very important keep your mindset very clear so if you are choosing analog edc network digital as your core subject for the bel interview which is very good then put light on this sequence whatever I wrote here that is more than enough what happened we study lot of things but we don't know how capacitor charge how it discharge how it respond to impulse how it respond to ramp signal how it respond to step signal we got stuck there so then it's a problematic somewhere else so try to put time on your basic if basics are clear don't worry about the advanced thing they will be taken place at their own in interview what happened see there is a panel of interview they may ask you five to seven questions. So out of them might be four questions are very basic and three questions very advanced. Trust me, if you don't answer the basic thing, but by luckily, by with Tukka, you answer those three very difficult questions. So still they're not going to select you. Trust me, that much experience the people have, they judge your fundamental because they need a person who can work on some, you know, hands-on project. If they wanted a person to work on the hands-on project, then they know tomorrow you or somebody else might need to learn so many technologies. He can learn, she can learn, but if the fundamentals are clear, they don't need advanced knowledge, they need a basic clarity. So this is the basic thing what you need to prepare. So now start preparing accordingly. Very soon I will keep on updating these kind of the short video. They will be really helpful. Thank you.